Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Leo. Keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Leo. If you like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'm going to that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You also find much other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You should have to go on there, go check it out, go on and go buy something. Really appreciate that. Uh, you can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms, and on as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. Leo, the book is in there. So, anyways, I was doing your reading before, and I had to stop the video because of something came up. Um, some trees fell down and stuff. Kind of scared me because I didn't know what was going on at first. But here are your cards. We have the Emperor. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, Page of Wands, with the Four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. All right. So we have Spirit here wanting to deliver you a message. Someone from the other side. Someone who maybe your other half here. Okay. There's some truth there coming out. All right. Someone's very deep in their emotions. So let's start with the Emperor first. As we are faced here with the domain of material stability, of an equilibrium attained through experience of rationality. Emperor incarnates masculine and patriarchal power, capable of attaining concrete co conquest in the world, including those in the economic field. As is demonstrated by the casket on which he leans, he is also represents security and irremovability as the anchor at his feet demonstrates. An excess or abuse of power can bring about his de degeneration, making him become a cold tyrant or an adversary instead of a parental and comforting figure. And here's advice from the dead. It says, Do not be afraid of aiming high with your objectives and with those you are materially constructing, even accepting the help of a person who is important and protective. Pops. So we do have the Five of Cups, the King of Cups. Five of Cups. It says the Five of Cups brings a period of introspection into the labyrinth of our own emotions. Our sentiments, a period of reflection and solitude that could bring us reconciliation or retreat. The initial resistance, disappointment, or prudence can be transformed successfully into something else. Here's an advice. Stay with your emotions and let them overwhelm you. Let them flow and follow their course. As only in this way will you arrive at a new harmony and alliance. Where's the king of cups? King of cups. Represents steadiness, calm, and benevolence. He is a mature figure, full of intensiveness, artistic abilities, and capable of comforting, such as that his presence is a strong signal of success and expansion. Reversed, however, he could be represent the eruption of a fraud, egoism, or even corruption, says advice from the dead. Rely on your emotions, see once again, your emotions. Or trust the intensiveness of a male figure who is near to you and who will help you in your enterprise. Right, we have pentacles, we have five of pentacles, two of pentacles, so two pentacles. We are in front of two aspects of the same thing. That once united, we'll be ready to fly, but not until a great transformation has occurred. The transfer, however, will be a precarious and full of obstacles and worries. The desire to conclude a situation that is already currently on hold, such as a contract or a financial project, could result in arguments and problems. Advice from the dead, it says, moderate spending and accusations, or accretions, or whatever, for the moment, and wait for a more favorable and clear moment to act. It's time to wait, be, like, diving into your emotions here, but don't be afraid to aim high here, Leo. Aim higher. I 
The Five of Pentacles is an active, dynamic card that announces step by step the positive evolution towards the future and the discovery of new interests or new solutions. An excess of dynamicism and velocity in moving about could, however, make the situation too fluid and unstable, causing inevitable worries and a disorder to appear and obliging us to go back to where we were. So, I'm advising with that with calm. See, being that calm in your emotions, but with calmness and the flow. And through concrete and objective evaluation, you can go ahead, overcoming any crisis that you meet along your way. Okay? This one. One page. Page. An incarnate and continual movement, a messenger, a stranger with good news and contacts who come from afar. The Page of Wands brings with him the small displacements, reliable new things, and subordinate situations that could, however, be transformed into uncertainty in acting, inclusiveness, or excessive delays. Here's an advice from the dead. This is a moment to overcome more independent, or to become more independent, and to manage your own affairs by yourself. Given that you are more than able, delaying this will only bring about problems. I'm becoming more independent in handling your own affairs here, Leo. I forgot about the Four of Pentacles. I have to read that. Four of Pentacles. Alright, the stability of four gives this card a positive balance, and we can talk about savings as well as generosity, gifts, earnings, something received as an inheritance or the nearing of a favorable moment that is slowly maturing. Only a certain pass passivity due to stagnation could leave us prey to superior external forces. It says, continue to concentrate on your present situation, working and resisting any eventual obstacles or barriers. Alright, so it's telling you to continue. Alright, continue and aim higher. Go with that calm approach. Being in your emotions, but being in the flow here, Leo. Swords. The Ace. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords represents a strong conquest force, a genuine intelligence that is penetrating and aggressive, a very dynamic card that can be aligned with high ideals, but for this reason could be easily become sinister, bringing on excessive violence and extreme behavior. In new solutions, in order to avoid. It's the wrong page. It says. Evaluate and choose carefully the direction in which you wish to channel your abundant intel intellectual and subconscious energy. So choose your direction here. Move forward. It feels like there's new things coming up ahead for you as well, Leo. As you're continuing on your path, it's going to be up to you to choose here. I feel like there's something higher coming for you. Something better. So let's get some more some charts yourself. What on earth is this? I need to look that up. So we have Uranus here. These two dragon lovers, one being fire, one being water. We have Horus, we have Aries with the Emperor here. So you have those placements, one around you. All right, can even be in the spiritual form. We have Virgos. Once again, you can have those placements or one around you. We have Hathor. This dragon moon star, which can be a symbol of coming in there. We have something going on in self. Fertility. All right, and we have the rose. All right, Leo, so roses are important here, but we do see roses on this card right here. So, Leo, that's all I have for you, and like I said, first thing you scoop them down below for personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop, go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, 
Like, subscribe. Bye, guys.